you functioning? Yes. Greenville Functional Medicine would like to ask you that question, and I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. You know, my hormones are at a right level right now. Oh, I can always tell when yeah. those hormones are good. Gre <laughs> Greenville Functional Medicine has them in line. Connie mm -hmm. uh, Caseboat, Doc. How are you? I'm doing great. Great to well, see you. Well, good to you, see Connie. you. Yes. Yeah. And business is so good, and and some of that's because of seminars. What's that all about? Absolutely. Well. When you're dealing with functional medicine, you've got to work with people over a length of time mm -hmm. because you can't teach overnight, you can't undo bad habits overnight. No. So we invite people to come to a free seminar, we've got one coming up next Tuesday, right. uh, at our office, which is 301 Halton, mm -hmm. and at the seminar I explain why the current model of a pill for every ill is not really working for people. So wow. we, uh, after that, we invite people to come in to see us, and then we work with them intensively. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting, I was just looking on Facebook before I came on here, and one of our nurses that works at the office has gone through the program. She's lost 23 pounds oh, wow. and gotten off a bunch of medications and feels terrific. That's great. And that is actually mm -hmm. the norm. That's actually mm -hmm. the average. I, I actually, next to you guys, I feel mm -hmm. like I have the coolest job in Greenville because people yeah. come in and say, I feel better than I have in 20 years. Isn't that wonderful? So I get to hear that all the time. Yeah. Isn't it amazing too how you don't realize that you're not feeling well until you start feeling yes. well? Yes. And that's what they all yeah. say. They'll come in and go, I didn't know I was so tired uh -huh. and depressed and achy. <laughs> and now I feel it. great. Yeah. And yeah. I don't, whatever you do, I don't want to go back. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But now you've told us that uh, hormone levels drop beginning about 30 or 35. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. And hormones are a big part of what we do. Yeah. Um, of course, by the time you get into your 50s or beyond, you know, the hormone levels have really tanked. So I know personally, I've had hormone pellets in me every three months uh, for over four years, and it's made such a huge difference. Yeah. I feel like I'm 35. So what does it mean? It's just giving you, you get a little It's pellet. replacing <coughs> what Mother Nature used to take care of you via your ovaries or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you know, those punk out after uh, after you get reach a certain age. Punk out. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's a good, term. good medical term. No, yeah. but I, it makes <laughs> sense. I, you know, I'm glad yeah. you know. Yeah. That makes well, sense. And, and of course, we only use the bioidentical, which are safe. Okay. So there's mm -hmm. no excess risk associated with those. And you don't just walk in and do this. Now it's well thought out. You do. You give blood a week before you Absolutely. potentially uh, have the pellets. Uh, yes, we monitor so everything, the and then we choose the correct dosage based on their labs, based right. on their symptoms, based on their weight, mm -hmm. and um, we go from there. Because yeah. so. weight and hormones kind of go hand in hand. You know, I was. Yes. You, you can tell. You can be doing a lot of the right things, but if your hormones aren't in check. Absolutely. Kinda... In fact, this is a sad fact, uh -huh. but this happens. When women go through menopause, typically, without changing a thing with their activity or their diet, they're going to put on 17 pounds. 17? Yes. You're and kidding. it all goes around the middle. Oh, that's right. the hardest to lose. Yes. Mm -hmm. First place. It's so easier for guys, isn't it? It is. It is easier. Oh, so one reason. of the things we teach people, if you replace those hormones, you're going to have a much easier time with not only weight management, but with sleep, energy, mood, T oh, just yeah. quality of life. Yeah. Wow. And you know, it's funny, over the years, I guess we men, being not the smartest creatures on the planet, uh, think of hormones in only women, but yeah. we guys have them too. Oh, absolutely. I have so many men coming in saying, mm -hmm. I have no more oomph. I just don't feel like myself. I can't out. build muscle. I just want to lay around. And we revitalize their life too. Mm -hmm. So. That's okay, the seminar, and you need to call and reserve a spot. There you see it, gfmwellness.com, Halton Road in Greenville. Reserve your spot, uh, and it's free, the seminar. That's right, right. At 6 your place next business. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Right. Thank you, Dr. Kyle. We could talk Thank forever you. about hormones. So many questions. We'll have to have you back. <laughs> Thank you. I get for it. I love it. Well, can we tell the difference in local food? I would think. You would think? Right. Yeah, well, they're going to put us to the taste test. We're going to do a little taste test for you, all right? We're going to see if we can tell the difference and tell you why eating locally is so good for you. That's coming up.